Hi, welcome back to Nexus Core, and today I'm going to be opening this Aichi Sendo trial deck, which is one of the first trial decks for the new V series that everyone's kind of forced to play at this point. Let's just, let's dive right in. Shoot, where are my keys? Wait, backup plan. Audio jack to the rescue. Nope, nope. Okay, plan B. Bingo. Scissors. Eat. Yeah. Yote. Cool. Slide this right out. So right away, you get your uh, little handy dandy uh, guidebook here. So we got a first beginner's guide, as is tradition, telling you how to how to play this game. That's cool. That's upside down. Yeah. Whatever. What I actually really like about these new playmats, you can go and show this real quick, is the fact that the color scheme on them is actually different from how they used to be. This is the back side, showing you all the cool nifty things you can do with your trial deck. Look at this. So the color scheme for this thing used to be where the middle was red, these were green, and this was like purple or something. But these are actually like more consistent with like how they show it in the show, where like the center is either red or blue, red guards are yellow, guard circles green. So I, I kind of I kind of like that. You know? I hope they keep up with this consistency. All right, that was it for stuff you get. Oh, this box is different. Oh wow, they they made it a snap open. Is that new? Oh wow, you just fold it open. That's cool. Wow, is she she's stepping up in her product. All right, so right away we get our new foiled version of Blaster Blade. Slide the little plastic off. Can I slide this plastic off? I got to tear it off. Oh, there's a little tear in the back. Is that what I have to do? Is that what I have to do? Yeah, that's too much work. Let's just... There we go. Cut that off. I don't know the right way to do it, but just have scissors. So right away we got plaster blade. Our one foiled copy of it, or the one triple rare foiling. And next we got a foiled version of the common, or the alt art. So we got a total of four blaster blades so far. So one triple R, one foiled alt art, two common versions. So after that we have four copies of Alfred Early. Four. There it is. The foils are in the back. That's kind of stupid wishy, honestly. Um, so, four copies of Alfred Early. One being foiled, the rest uh, common, as is tradition. For the next for the grade threes, there should be four copies of Star Drive Dragons. This is your backup ride. Uh, it also gives you a force gift, but its main skill is rear guard only, so it's meant to be a rear guard beat stick. Next up, we got our 10k vanilla, as is tradition of Galatine to be nothing but useless. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice sounds going kind of like 10k vanilla. Uh, what's cool about the vanillas in this deck is a lot of the grade twos are vanilla, kind of, or the grade twos have 10k base, but don't have vanilla effects. Example being Blaster Blade having the 10k base, but still have an effect. The shield value though, uh, the Blaster Blade has right here is 5,000 shield. Galatine has 10,000. So the vanillas serve a purpose of being shield fodder and also having that base number for 10,000. So that might be cool. A uh, four copy of Sage of the Arts Jarin. Or not four, I'm sorry. Three copies of Jarin. Planning on running four copies, that's why. Kind of jumped the gun there. So three copies of Jarin. Jarin's skill is that when he attacks the Vanguard, if you have a total of three or more rear guards, it gains 5k. So it becomes a 15k beat stick. Uh, these are really important because uh, when you combine it with an 8k booster for grade 1s, you're swinging for a 23k column, which uh, hits your opponent's vanguard uh, for a pretty, what we call, magic number, where if they swing for 23, they have to drop a 15k to block it at 28, and if they do get a damage trigger putting them at 23k base, this will still hit the number for uh, essentially a poke. Uh, so if you have... Call, rear guard columns that are 18k uh, 
ideally you want to swing with those first because if you don't see a trigger and your opponent damage triggers, your attack will not hit. So uh, these cards that gain 5k for the column are going to be pretty important in the meta in my opinion. So four copies of Wingle. Sorry again. Three copies. Now I'm just going to count first and then say how many of what the card is. So uh, Wingle's skill is uh, when it during uh, your turn all the blast plays in this column uh, have 5,000 power. So essentially just giving the column a 5,000 boost. So blast blade will swing for 23. Uh, again, what I discussed earlier about hitting the 23 number is really important. So uh, this card is pretty decent. It's a high beast and uh, it's an 8k. It has 10,000 shield. All the grade ones uh, with eight, all the grade ones in, in uh, this uh, new V series tend to have 10,000 shield. So honestly, it's pretty decent considering that, I mean, considering that it only boosts, boosts, boosts Blaster Blade, it's still a good card in my opinion. Uh, three, but the fourth copy is back here. Four copies of um, Knight Squire Allen. So Allen's skill is that when it's placed, you count a blast one and you call up to one card uh, grade less than or equal to your vanguard from your hand or rear. And if you did call one, you draw a card and Alan gains 3k. So this is good for, um, like shown in the video with the trial decks, uh, you can throw this down early game to call an extra card, gain a bonus by drawing a card from it. So essentially you shorten it down, it's count a blast one, count a blast one, draw a card, essentially, and then this gets 3k. So this helps you with the early game. It's a pretty decent card. Uh, it's uh, because World Bowden doesn't seem to have an, a counter charge engine, this is still a hefty cost, and because it only works when it's placed and it becomes a vanilla for the rest of the game, it's kind of an iffy card, but it's still still good enough to run. All right, so one, two, three, four. I can count four copies of strong, strong knight roar roar. roar Warna, Rornoria. It's a PG. So, uh, skill is when placed on guard circle, discard one, uh, choose one of your units and you cannot be hit at the end of the battle. So, honestly, the fact that you get four PGs right out of a trial deck is awesome. I know we're going to be replacing them with the draw trigger PGs when uh, VBTL1 comes out, but the important thing here is that fact that players can start the game with perfect guards to get go. I've been playing this game for a really long time, and I lived in a time period where getting perfect guards was a luxury. And uh, it's at the point now where PGs are a necessity, and I'm really glad Bushy kind of acknowledges it, especially because we would only get two trial deck or two PGs per trial deck and two of the ace card, two copies of each like important card, and you essentially have to buy two trial decks. I really liking the fact that most of the copies in this deck, you can kind of just get it from the get go and just start playing. So we got three copies of Auspice, or Auspice Falcon. Uh, this card's actually not terrible, but uh, 6k grade ones are not that great. I think I moved the camera a little bit. Let me just, there we go. Whoops, it's destroying everything here. So as I was saying, 6k grade ones, not that great considering uh, most of the other grade one, 8k grade ones have really great effects and this, this card isn't really warranted. Its skill is act, you rest it, count, you counter blast one and rest it, so more counter blast cost. You have two of your rear guards, 5k. Uh, this is kind of cool if you throw it behind Vanguard Circle, uh, it'd be, you know, during your turn act, you can rest it, give two things 5k. If you have a force marker in your Vanguard Circle, you don't really have to worry about the boost. Pretty decent card considering it's for a trial deck, so uh, replaceable, but not terrible. So, pretty cool. So, Starting with our grade zeros, we got our starter, Glime. Uh, when road upon, draw. Cool. So this is your starter. RIP Forerunner. Four copies of Bringer of Good Luck Epina. So triggers now give 10,000 uh, power, and triggers also have 15 shield. Pretty, pretty neat. Four copies of Flogal. Yes, trial decks give um, playset play sets of all your triggers and now it's eight crits which is pretty awesome considering that that's what people would end up doing anyways. Flogel's now a crit instead of a stand so Barkle plays are live 
And yeah, pretty, pretty fun card. Four copies of Margul. Uh, draw triggers still have 5k shield. Um, draw triggers are also still good and 10k trigger bonus. Gonna be replaced by the PGs, of course. And four copies of um, Yggdrasil Mating Elaine. So the reason you're gonna be running these, no matter if you're playing premium or standard, is because that thing right there, the plus 10,000, yeah. I really don't think you should warrant running the old uh, heal triggers that have skills just because they have skills when you're losing that, that plus extra plus 5,000 in power. Also, these heal triggers have 20 shield, uh, which is actually really cool considering that, you know, back then, like all the heal trigger, all the triggers that draws would essentially have the same shield, but now heals still serve as kind of like that guardian defense purpose that, uh, that we were left with in G era. So I'm really excited for the fact that heal triggers are still doing something more than just healing and just being how they used to be. All right, so we got three force markers in this trial deck. So two of them are kind of standard-ish looking with just the effect. We got the gift marker symbol, and then you get one copy of a force gift that is blaster blade. Uh, same effect, but now you get a really cool looking force gift. So if you want to make a whole uh, stack of force gifts that look like blaster blade, or you know the Overlord one, because Overlord one has one just like this. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the trial deck. Main important thing uh, that this deck has to offer is the fact that you get the one Pluster Blade uh, copy. Um, foils are nice. Foils are, for foiling is actually really good considering it's a trial deck, so really liking that. Anyways, that's basically it. Um, hope you guys like this unboxing. Let me know what you think about this deck. Let me know how you're feeling about standard format coming out soon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you all next time.